So this is a very exciting day. The El Capitan blade sign is going on behind us on the El Capitan Hotel. Uh, we're really excited about uh, the progress that we're making here at the hotel. Uh, this is just one of two signs that we're going to have. The historic sign is being rebuilt and will be put up uh, shortly on the, other, on the other side, on the main side, on the courtyard side of the building. So if you're not aware, the building was built in 1924. Uh, it was restored in 1936 after a fire. So we can almost see the finish line. It's been a long couple year process, but we do believe we'll have the hotel up and operating for our guests in the first part of 2021, around February-ish. We're, we're, uh, we're in order to see that happen. So the building was originally 33 rooms. We've taken that 33 historic rooms and added on a new complex. We'll have a total of 114 rooms. So every room has been touched, basically taken down almost to the studs in the original 33 rooms. We'll have three food and beverage outlets, adding in a new fitness center with Peloton equipment. We'll have meeting space. Uh, so pretty much a brand new hotel but with the uh, outside facade of the original historic hotel. The El Capitan Hotel will be a grand hotel here in uh, downtown Merced. Our goal is to make uh, El Capitan and Merced a destination spot. So not only are people coming in because they might be going up to Yosemite, as we're a gateway to that, that people will come because we have the El Capitan Hotel with its three food and beverage outlets of the Rainbird Restaurant, the Native Sun Bar, and the Courtyard. Uh, this hotel is going to be fantastic, and we do believe everything we've done to make it more modern, but still winking at its uh, historic side, uh, will make everybody feel very comfortable.